from their respected areas. Of course, West Ranch High School, the Santa Clarita Valencia, California area. Their closest rank is the Cube, this is now called in Valencia, formerly known as Ice Station Valencia. Santa Barbara, their school is San Marcos High School. They are called the Royals. As everyone's rising for the national anthem, we're inside and we'll step away for two minutes as you're listening to the LA Kings High School Hockey League Championship on Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. I really want to be a sports broadcaster but not sure how to get started. Have you done any broadcasting before? No, but I know I need experience, but just not sure how. You should really download the Game Mic app. It allows anyone to create and broadcast at any time. What games can I call? Any youth sporting event. You can even share it out with family and friends so they can listen in. That sounds great. I'll download it today. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mic comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so the people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mic, it's in the emotions. Hey everyone, this is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports, and we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp at cbsinteractive.com. And we're back, and action has just gotten underway here from the Toyota Sports Performance Center in El Segundo, California. Royals in the offensive half of the ice. The puck is now possessed by West Ranch's Jake Rodriguez. He works it back to his defenseman behind. As the goaltending matchup this afternoon for West Ranch's number 75, Joshua Schilling, against Santa Barbara's number 40, Jack Finneran. Royals will send this one out to center, and it is the Wildcats trying to start a breakout. That pass got away from Yang, and it goes down the ice. Royals in possession. Bowman. Quick area pass tried to find Addison Headley, and turnover there as the Royals coming back the other way. Here's a shot saved by Schilling. Fifty-seven seconds into the first period, still zero-zero. Santa Barbara is going from left to right. West Ranch is going from right to left. Hines in the face-off circle for Santa Barbara gives a pass off to number ten. That is Nimella. Sick leaves the zone. Santa Barbara trying to get some more offense going. It's in their own end now. Trying to start a breakout. Tried to feed Niamela, and that pass got away from him. So here's Julian Skein for West Ranch, starting a breakout. Pass just got away from number five. That's Mason Teal. Skein again for the Wildcats. Trying to get that breakout going. Santa Barbara is playing with a bit of tempo here. Daniel Finneran in possession, trying to get it deep. He does. This game for the Wildcats. A little bit of pressure from the Royals. 
Two minutes into the first period, here's a giveaway and put back into the zone by the Royals. Tough exits and a little bit off on the passes of the Wildcats to start this game. Chipped in by the Royals and West Ranch will take it back behind their own net. It's Bobby Brock using the protection of that net to let his players change. And here's an outlet pass. They got away, and Santa Barbara's back in possession. Headley fires a shot. It's blocked. By Piers Chelsky for West Ranch. This one's in the corner. And the Wildcats struggling to get it out of their own zone. Headley for the Royals. Tried to feed a pass to a teammate. And they will work the cycle. The Wildcats trying to interrupt. They have possession now. This one's flung all the way down the ice. And it will be icing. No. Icing waved off by the linesman. Santa Barbara trying to get this one out. They do. And here is Ethan Yang, or Ethan War for the Wildcats. Two Ethans out there for the Wildcats. Here's a chance for the Wildcats. Irvin sent it behind, and Santa Barbara's back in possession. Shot by Niner, missed the net. Hit a body along the way. That shot just missed the net from the Wildcats. Shot still one nothing in favor of Santa Barbara. Niamela tried to work his way through three defenders. That goes off of Hines in a way. And into the Royal Zone. Trying to start a breakout. This one's flung across the ice. And Niner with a poke check as West Ranch will clear the zone. Back in possession are the Royals. Chipped in deep and a little bit of pressure. Wildcats trying to start things up. That is Rodriguez for the Wildcats. Quick shot there, saved by Finneran, and we'll get a whistle. It's like shots are two to one in favor of the Wildcats now. And the face-off was a tie-up one by the Wildcats. Rodriguez's low shot didn't go. They fight for it in the corner. Tried to feed it across. And a lot of Royals in the way. This one will exit the zone. Whistle blows off sides call against the Wildcats. 11-17 to play in the first period. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. To get shots on goal 2 to 1 in favor of the Wildcats. So they say this one would be intentional offsides. This one this face off will be from the giant LA Kings logo at center ice. Face off won by Santa Barbara. There's a steal by Ethan Yang for the Wildcats. Defense there from the Royals. And it's Hines back behind. This one exits the zone and offsides will be called again. That was Jason Lee Valley in possession of the puck for West Ranch. 10.56 to go in the opening period. Still 0-0. Face-off tie-up won initially by Maradian of the Wildcats. They'll work this one deep into the offensive zone. Called Bowman for the Royals starts the breakout. Here comes Hines in the two-on-one. And good defense there by Julian Skane of the Wildcats. That intended pass hit a, hit his skate. Niamela tried to put it back in front. As shots on goal now, two to two. Hines with the steal. Skane puts it off the boards. He's playing defense out there, actually. Julian Skane. There's a yeah, shot that missed the net. Worked on back behind by the Royals. Somebody's in Gretzky's office back out in front. And that'll be a hand pass called against.
Santa Barbara. 10.09 to go as the faceoff will exit the zone. Right next to the American Express ad on the ice. Pretty much right in front of where we're positioned here in the King's Cove of the Toyota Sports Performance Center. Based off one cleanly by the Royals. It was Adam Bedard. West Ranch, here's a shot off the glove of Finneran. Royals back in possession. Here's a big block and can do anything with that. Royals trying to chip it forward. Here's Brock for the Wildcats. He'll circle back behind his own net. Here's Chalski. Quick give and go. That pass just got away from the Wildcats. They're going to try to set things up back behind. Looking for someone in front and nobody was there. Here's Bedard for the Royals. He'll just chip this one in and get a line change. 9.15 to go, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Shots 3-2. to two In favor of West Ranch. Pierce Chalski for the Wildcats. Marchant will send this one deep. And the troops will change. Royals trying to start the breakout. It's stolen by Jake Rodriguez for the Wildcats. He comes towards the net. And that one was defended away by the Royals. They'll send this one out and down the ice. That'll be icing against the Royals. 8.32 to go in the first period. Still knotted at zero. This face-off will come all the way down in the defensive zone for the Royals. Once again, this is the championship game in the LA Kings High School Hockey League for the 22-23 season. It's pretty much a rematch of last year's matchup between the Royals and the Wildcats. That pass just got away from Rodriguez, but the Wildcats have it back. And it's cleared down by the Royals. Wars pass to Cutler, and they'll get it right back to Ethan Yang. Up the boards to Rodriguez, fired a shot, and is blocked away by Finneran. Hines for the Royals takes a spill. Massive collision from Rodriguez, and he'll have to go sit in the sin bin. No, no penalty that time. That was a heavyweight collision by Jake Rodriguez. Faceoff will come outside the Wildcats offensive zone. 8.03 to go in the opening period, still 0 0. Rodriguez tried to get by, and the Royals will start up ice. That one's in the skates of Cutler, and they keep it alive. There's a shot, more of a chip shot, missed everything. It's worked on back behind. Royals trying to cycle it. Is a try to clear, not there for West Ranch. Goes back out to the point. Royals keep it in. And here's Ethan Yang for West Ranch. Staying it off the glass. It takes a weird bounce off the stanchion. And here come the Wildcats. Quick pass to Brock, the defenseman, and he couldn't get anything on that one. He was in all alone, one on one with the goalie. This one's sent all the way down. It goes off the goalie for West Ranch. No icing. Seven minutes to play in the opening period. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. There's a heavyweight collision there. And this will be sent all the way down for icing. 6.51 to play in the opening frame of our contest for the championship. The LA Kings High School Hockey League. This one deep in the Wildcats defensive zone. 
Santa Barbara wins it forward, looking for someone to help him out. Another heavyweight collision as the Royal took a spill. West Ranch up the other way with a bit of speed. Fights off a poke check, goes to LaValle at the point. Shot was off of a stick and wide. Here's Julian Skane trying to put it back on net. It goes off the skate of a Royal and they'll come up the ice. It's Foster sending a deep. Skane back behind his own net. LaValle. They try to chip it hard. Here's a shot. It goes into the netting and out of play. 6-10 to go in the opening frame. Still tied at zero. Face off outside the zone. I go outside watch this game. And the captain, Jonathan Maradian, gets kicked out of the faceoff circle for West Ranch. They tried to win it forward. Santa Barbara in possession, and it's chipped deep. Skane back behind his own net again. And West Ranch is able to get this one out. Coming up the ice with speed. The Wildcats trying to send this one on net. He does. But Finneran will cover. Shots 4-3 in favor of West Ranch. With 5.52 to go in the opening period of the championship. Offensive zone face off for West Ranch. And they will win it. Here's a quick shot into traffic. It hit a couple of bodies. Taken away by the Royals. Here's Addison Headley trying to make a move. Good defensive play by West Ranch. Teal with the puck. There's a shot saved by Schilling for West Ranch. Another shot. He's got that one too. The rebound was cleared away. And it exits the zone. Shots now 5 4, Santa Barbara. Here's Niner for West Ranch. Tried to outlet pass to Marotti, and it's taken away. Niamella with some speed. He's got the inside lane, fires it off the outside of the net. And we'll get a whistle with 5.04 to go. West Ranch wins the faceoff. Up ice they travel. Decent move there from the Wildcats. Cutler will send this one deep. Here's Cholsky fires it across. Nobody there. And Bowman will take it behind for the Royals. Niamela lost it out. Here's Cutler for West Ranch taking it behind. They'll start the breakout. Cutler gets it back. He's got some room to skate it. As we have 4.25 to go in the opening frame. Sent in deep by West Ranch. This one sent all the way down by Santa Barbara for icing. 4.16 to go. Opening period of the LA Kings High School Hockey League Championship for 22-23. Former buddies of mine, Jake Rodriguez and Julian Skeen. Out there on the ice for West Ranch. Played together in the 16-17 season with the California Heat. Here's a shot by LaValle, saved by Vinaran. LaValle took a spill after firing that shot. Shots now even at 5-5. Was a state finalist run in 16-17 with the Heat. It was the 12 under B level. Good steal by West Ranch. Tried to fire this one through traffic. It didn't get on that. The weird angle. 
Here's a foot race to the puck. Schilling's going to fire this one off the boards. Santa Barbara's got it. Pressured by Julian Skane. Royals still in possession. Skane's got it. And he will outlet it to Ethan Yang. Quick pass to Brock, and that one just out of the reach of LaValle for West Ranch. Flipped in by Rodriguez, and they'll get a full sail change. Santa Barbara back behind. They'll wait for their players to change. Daniel Finneran starts the breakout for West Ran or for Santa Barbara's. 3-12 to go. Shot level at five apiece. Off the stick of LaValle, and this one's fired in by Swartz for West Ranch. And then the Royals currently uh, quickly turned it around. Here's Irvin trying to get it in. He does. Worked back behind the net by the Royals. And then fired it deep was Marotti, and the captain for West Ranch. It's a rugby scrum in the corner. With 2.34 to go in the opening period. There's a shot that gets Ooh. through. And the rebound scores! Yeah. West Trent's on the rebound! And it's one to nothing, Wildcats! Let's go! That was Blake Swartz with the opening goal. And it's 1-0 West Ranch. What a rebound play by Swartz. He normally wears number 81. They, they have him wearing 11 out there. And faceoff was one forward by the Royals. They're trying to get an answer right back as Schilling makes the save. 2.21 to go in the opening period, and West Ranch leads 1-0. So it's Blake Swartz with the goal for West Ranch. It's one nothing they lead. Another faceoff win by Santa Barbara. They they're trying to answer right back. Here's another shot saved by Schilling. Another one, and he's got that one too. They fight for it. Looks like he's got four saves in a row there. This one will exit the zone. A little bit of a drive by from Mason Teal. Pierce Chalski wins it back for West Ranch. 155 to go. And a heavyweight collision there. Chipped forward by the Royals where the Wildcats will slow things down. Under 100 seconds to go in the opening period. one nothing West Ranch. Long lead pass. Marchants for... West Ranch got one there, and good block by Cutler. It went off the body, and he oh, fires a shot. That one got through, and it was saved by Finneran. Wildcats buzzing right now as the whistle blows. I don't know if you can hear it, but this West Ranch crowd that's right outside is in approval of the events transpiring. So 116 to go. Wildcats lead one nothing. They have an offensive zone face-off. And they win it. LaValle keeps the line and will fire it into the corner. That one just squirts free the blue line, but whistled down again for a hand pass. 67 seconds left in the first period. one nothing in favor of the Wildcats. They win the faceoff forward. Chipped out of the zone and off the stick. The shot missed the net from Calvin Frissel of the Royals. They work it deep. Working the point. Now finding an open corner where the Royals heavy hit there. And entering the zone again. There's a blocker save from Schilling. 
with 28 seconds to go. A lot of bodies hitting the ice now. Quick turn by Bowman, and that one will be whistled down off sides. 17.7 to go in the opening frame. And it's 1-0 West Ranch. Goal by Blake Schwartz. Face off one forward. Wildcats. Bobby Brock enters with speed. And that will be off signs. As he pulled that one back. So this is the LA Kings High School Hockey League Championship game between the Santa Barbara Royals and West Varsity. Ranch Wildcats for the varsity level. This one's sent in by West Ranch. Swartz with the goal. He's got it behind in Gretzky's office. And the Royals will try to send this one out to the point. Brock fired one into a body to end the first period. So end of the first the West Ranch Wildcats, courtesy of Blake Swartz, have a 1 0 lead. Shots level at nine apiece. As I'm Bryce Narvaez, senior at John Muir High School. No intervention in the LA Kings High School Hockey League, but also future Arizona State Sun Devil. <laughs> Thank you. So Blake Schwartz with the opening goal, putting the West Ranch Wildcats up one to nothing. Once again, they skate out of the cube at Valencia, formerly known as Ice Station Valencia. That venue closed and then it was reopened. Hockey in Valencia has been a big thing. Getting set for the second period now. As will be the Wildcats going from left to right this period and the Royals going from right to left. These championship games vary between this venue of the Toyota Sports Performance Center, the official practice facility of the Los Angeles Kings, and Crypto.com Arena. That's where last year's matchup was held. That was March 13th, 2022. The Wildcats looking for redemption after that game against the Royals last year. Now This one goes off the stick of Niamela, and forward comes Ethan Yang for... The Wildcats throws a shot and it was saved by Finneran. Eli Hines will slow things down for Santa Barbara. He's the captain and one of the larger athletes on the ice right now. Here comes Jake Rodriguez. He tried to put it through a body. And Santa Barbara's got possession. They fight for it in the corner, but there's Hines. Throwing off a, a teammate. Somehow, some way, West Ranch has got it. In front is a shot. Scores! Yeah! 2 0 West Ranch. That one got through Finneran, and the Wildcats will lead this one 2 0. As Bobby Brock will put the Wildcats up 2 nothing. assist to Jake Rodriguez. The Wildcats win it back in their own end and out to center. Bowman for Santa Barbara. Chips it off the boards and fired back by Lavalle. Bowman takes a spill. West Ranch couldn't capitalize on that opportunity. They could have had it two on one. Working it deep. Santa Barbara pass out in front and Marotti in. There's a shot saved by Schilling. 
dangerous play out in the front of the net. So that's 11 to 10 in favor of West Ranch. The heavyweight collision back behind. Skane with a little bit of speed. Finds a man, and here come the Wildcats. Chip deep. Trying to win it back was Blake Swartz, who had the opening goal. 2 nothing West Ranch. Skane keeps this one in. Here's a shot saved by Finneran. It was a little chipped one-timer. Saved by Finneran. 2 nothing. Two minutes into the second. It's West Ranch playing with a lot of fire right now. We'll see if they can keep it going. This faceoff was won by West Ranch, and here's Niner from the point. Fires a shot. It was deflected and saved by Finneran. No rebounds. Good tip. 13.54 to go in the second. 2 nothing West Ranch. No wonder he's the Rogi Goalie of the Year recipient. That's the Rogi Vashon Goalie of the Year recipient from pregame. And Jack Finneran for Santa Barbara. Another offensive faceoff for West Ranch. No, the Rogi Goalie of the Year Face off one by Santa Barbara. Up the ice is Niamela. Tried to work it by Cutler. And Cutler denied it. West Ranch tried to clear it. Here's a quick slapper from the point, missed the net. And then somehow it got back out in front of the net, and Schilling had to clear this one away. And sent down by West Ranch. Here's a quick chip towards goal, and covered by Finneran. Thirteen twenty-seven to go in the uh, in the second period. We're live here on Game Mike this afternoon from El Segundo, California, right nearby Los Angeles International Airport, also known as LAX, one of the busy hubs for passenger travel. Here's a shot saved by Finneran right off the draw. It was thrown on net by Ethan Yang for West Ranch. Niner keeps it in. He will throw it into the corner. Wildcats trying to win it back. A couple of bodies colliding in the corner. And Santa Barbara's got it. West Ranch in possession. Throwing across ice to Cutler. Here's Niner working his way in. Here's a shot saved by Finneran. Quick wind up. And the Rogi Vashon goalie of the year covered it. He gloved it down. And 12.49 to go. Finneran trying to keep Santa Barbara in this game. They're down 2 nothing. Courtesy of goals by Bobby Brock and Blake Swartz for West Ranch. Offensive zone faceoff won by West Ranch. They work it to the point. The shot through traffic, it got blocked. They're working across the ice to Skane. A quick tip by Yang, and that one didn't get on net. Quick transition play from Santa Barbara. Sick goes flying, and we'll have a penalty called. There'll be a slashing penalty. That stick went flying, and it looks like the penalty is going to be against Bobby Brock for West Ranch. The first... Man advantage of the game by any team. It'll be Santa Barbara on the power play first. Shots 14 to 10 in favor of West Ranch. They called it up, yeah, they did. 1226 to go. And this may be a long two minutes for Bobby from the penalty box. West Ranch will clear it all the way down. Santa Barbara has to reset. Oh, nice. And it's stolen by Yang. Quick wow. shot was blocked. So a quick shorthanded shot. So it's a five on four advantage for Santa Barbara for those unfamiliar with the game of ice hockey. Here's Eli Hines for Santa Barbara. Working it in. Uh -oh. And somehow some way. Oh, what a save by Schilling. 
He stretched his body out to make that save. That kept in at the point. They fired across. Uh -oh. Here's Hines. He went off of his stick. We're going to get behind. Up top to the point. Bowman fires a shot. And it will go out of play. Eleven twenty nine to go in the second period. One minute, three seconds left on the advantage for Santa Barbara. They're down 2 nothing and would hope to get a power play goal here. That offensive zone faceoff, West Ranch wins it and they will clear it down. Eli Hines for Santa Barbara will allow this power play unit to reset. This pass is stolen by Niner, and he couldn't get it in deep. This one goes off the stick of Maradian, or off of his skate, in fact. And West Ranch doing a good job on this penalty kill. 35 seconds to go in the advantage for Santa Barbara. They have not had maintained possession in a while. Pepperid fires a Pass across to Bowman. Bowman will get it deep. And a few will change for Santa Barbara. West Ranch tries to clear it. Hines will hold the line. Pepper gets it back. Works a deep. Tried to feed Hines, and it was a good stick by three West on Ranch. One. Three on one. Here comes a three on one for West Ranch. The shot oh. saved, and that one somehow didn't go in. Maradi and on the block. Here's the shot saved again as the penalty expires. Two short-handed shots by West Ranch. They get it back again, and a shot just missed the net. 10-15 to go. Wildcats up 2-0. I think Hines has been out there for the entire two minutes of their power play. Santa Barbara clears it. Here's Niner resetting. He takes a stick and maintains possession for a little bit. Schilling has the puck, and he'll play it to the end boards. Here's a shot. The bat angle shot. Look like he stopped that one. Shot's looking something like 16 to 12 in favor of West Ranch, and they will clear the zone. Dies short of the icing line. A good skating by West Ranch to win it back. Fired it off a of body, but there were a lot of wildcats on that one. Trying to maneuver his way through neutral ice. And get it deep was Irvin. He did. And Skein plays it off the boards. Back the other way are the Royals. Bedard worked it deep. West Ranch will get it out. Shot looking something like 16 to 13. West Ranch in transition and good stick from the defense of Santa Barbara. We'll get a whistle with 8.55 to go in the second period. Still a 2-0 West Ranch lead. They've been up and down the ice in recent minutes. It looks like there'll be a... They have a penalty on the board. It looks like it will be against Santa Barbara. <laughs> Off to the sin bin is Calvin Frissel for Santa Barbara. So first power play of the game for Westridge, trying to extend their lead. They had to get that puck all the way from the other end of the ice. And we are ready to go. 8.55 to go. First power play of the game for West Ranch. And they win the draw. Cutler puts this deep into the corner. It's controlled by the Royals. Not cleared. Shot by Yang. Just missed it. In. They work this one out to the point. Ethan War. Or, uh, I'm sorry. That was Niner with the puck. Is a quick shot off the glove of Finneran. 
Working it deep is Rodriguez. Quick turn into open ice. Fires a, a weird angle shot, and it's covered by Finneran for a whistle. Shots 18 to 13 in favor of the Wildcats. They're up 2 0, trying to extend this lead even further. Wildcats won the draw, and Niner can hold the line. They have him listed as a forward, but he's playing defense. West Ranch starts to break out. Quick lead pass from Yang. Brock has it, and Yang got it back, but then he lost it. A quick shorthanded rush for the Royals. They work it back out behind and look for a centering pass, but there are Wildcats all over it. Ethan Yang for West Ranch. Quick sauce to Brock. He couldn't handle that. Just out of his reach. 45 seconds to go on the power play. At the point is Cutler. He holds on at the top, finds a man. Gets it back, and oh, the one-timer, he missed it. Open net, and he missed it. Here's a quick slapper from Yang, and he missed the net. Santa Barbara clears the zone. 16 seconds to go, full sail change for the Wildcats. Outlet pass to Swartz. He chips it by a man and gets it deep in behind the net. Five seconds to go. Both teams would have killed off their penalties as Santa Barbara shoots this the length of the ice. So we're back to five on five. West Ranch slows things down behind their own net. Skein gets it back and finds an outlet pass. They couldn't clear the zone off of Moradian, and then Bristol had possession. Here comes Skein. Tried to get it deep, couldn't get it there. Sent down the ice by Santa Barbara. They will race to the puck as the Royals get it. Now an exit of the zone. Fired back deep by the Royals. Six minutes to play in the second period. And Hines tried to get it towards the middle. This one chipped off the bench, and it will go out of play. The blocker saved by the backup goaltender for the Royals over there. Face off back in the defensive zone for West Ranch. They lead two to nothing with 5.56 to go in period number two. Once again, we're live here on Game Light. Quick one time shot saved by Schilling. Nothing doing for both teams as the goalies have been backstopping for both of these teams. Royals get it. Trying to chip it by one. Good lead block as into the zone is West Ranch. Sebastian Ramirez. Quick shot by Gill, missed the net. Royals try to clear the zone. They do. Quick drive by by one of the Wildcats. Up the ice. And the Royals a shot missed the net again. West Ranch up the ice. This one gets by one, and it'll go down for icing. Just a hair under five minutes to play in the second period. Wildcats lead two to nothing here on Game Mike. One of the sponsors for the LA Kings High School Hockey League is Tough Shed. Faceoff will go to the left of Joshua Schilling for the Wildcats. Face off one by Santa Barbara. A quick drive. Hit the high glass. Wildcats up the ice. And they will enter off sides. 
Here's Chelsky tried to drag his skate. That time, 10 seconds off the clock from our last stoppage. Face-off one, this time by the Royals. They'll chip this one out to center, where the Wildcats will set things up. It's Niner throwing it across the ice to his defensive partner. Taking his time as he gets by one and fires it into the corner. Royals. Quick turnover. Wildcats can capitalize on that opportunity. Royals up the ice. Pepperd fires it across here as Schilling will cover for another whistle. Shots 18 to 15 in favor of the Wildcats. Up two to nothing with 4:12 to go in the second period. 19-15 shots favoring West Ranch. The Los Angeles Kings also playing right now. They're playing against the New York Rangers from Madison Square Garden. Dangerous play in front of the net, and the Wildcats have it. And they will clear the zone. Up the ice to Schwartz. He will chip it in and look to win it back. He does. Out in front, and the one-timer just didn't go. They work it back to Cutler. Cutler across to Andrew Niner. Pressured at the point, and this one will escape the zone. There's a slash, and it'll be called against Niamela for the Royals. So the West Ranch power play will get an opportunity to go back to work. They're 0 for 1 currently on the game. This is the third power play of the game by any team, and third power play of this period. Five on four for the Wildcats. They win the draw. Cutler works it across. One-time blast. Missed everything, and it goes into the opposite corner. Santa Barbara flips it off the glass and out. 3.28 to play in the second period. Taken back behind. Line Niner for the Wildcats. It's shipped in by Bobby Brock. This one deflected off of a stick, and Santa Barbara will be able to clear this one. Spin move from Ethan Yang, and he will work his way into the offensive zone. Tried to quick toe drag, and it didn't work. Rodriguez wins it back, fires a shot, and it's wide. Bobby Brock is there to keep the zone. Power play trying to set up. Here's a save by Finneran. And West Ranch will maintain possession. Working his way behind is Yang. Up top to the point. Niner tried to throw a shot and whiffed on it. Here's a shot through from Yang. It was stopped. By Finneran, who's Yang, probably one of the best skaters out there right now. There's a high stick, and it'll be called against Bobby Brock for West Ranch, waiting for the Wildcats to gain possession, and they do. So here's an interesting scenario. We'll go four on four for 26 seconds. As the West Ranch power play will short circuit on that high stick from Bobby Brock. So 26 seconds of four on four, and then it'll be an abbreviated Santa Barbara power play. Two minutes and seven seconds to play in the second period. Face off in the West Ranch zone as the Wildcats will win it, and they send it down the length of the ice, and it'll be icing. I think they forgot that it's four on four. So Niamela expected to exit the box in 20 seconds for Santa Barbara. This faceoff will go right back to where it originally was. Once again, four on four for 20 seconds. West Ranch wins the faceoff. 
as Schilling will play this one to the corner. West Ranch trying to clear it, but Santa Barbara's got it. Hines throws a shot and he scores! Eli Hines makes this a one goal game. What a wrister from the top of the faceoff circle. It's two to one in favor of the Wildcats. Still four on four. We'll skate four on four for another nine seconds. 150 to play in the second period, and it's a one goal hockey game. Santa Barbara has possession, and the goal scorer, Hines, will throw it across. They enter the zone off sides. So it's an abbreviated Santa Barbara power play now. With 92 seconds, they'll have to operate. There's seven seconds separating the penalty clock and the game clock. West Ranch trying to kill this one off. The power play is not working for anybody right now. The Santa Barbara goal was scored in a four-on-four -four situation by Eli Hines. Bowman enters the zone for Santa Barbara. Skating on back behind. They have a bunch of big bodies out there trying to screen the goalie. Bowman gets it back, throws it across to Hines, who already has one. It's saved by Schilling. It's in a couple of skates, and West Ranch is able to clear it. Nia Miller gets it for the Royals. Tried to feed a pass to Frissel. Hines holds the line. Quick shot by Bowman was blocked. Still in possession of the Royals. Here's a shot, and he roofed it with Nia Miller. That one goes straight into the netting with just under a minute to play in the second period. Two to one, West Ranch. Lead was cut in half by Eli Hines for the Royals. Face off to the right of Joshua Schilling for West Ranch. Royals win it again. Bowman taking his time at the point. Fires a wrister. And it missed the net. Bowman gets it back. Works it up top to Hines. Now across. Whiffing on the shot was Headley. Now a sharp angle shot. They poke at it. But Schilling had it. 27 seconds to go on the advantage for Santa Barbara. Down by one. And changing the forwards for West Ranch. West Ranch technically won that one forward. But it was controlled by the Royals. It was Bowman. Hines throws a shot through traffic. It was blocked by Ethan Yang. This one gets through. And Daniel Finneran can capitalize on that one right in front. Bowman taking his time. Four seconds to go in the advantage. He's got some speed working behind. Sharp angle shot from the Amela missed everything. And the Wildcats kill it off. As that will do it for two periods of play. It's the Wildcats lead two to one. We'll step aside 30 seconds. Coming up next is the most important period of hockey. It's the third period. Okay, we're going to actually have an intermission. So the Zamboni will come out onto the ice. So we're in our, I guess you'd call it first intermission of the game and perhaps the only intermission. As we're through two periods with the West Ranch Wildcats up two to one on the Santa Barbara Royals. You're listening to the LA Kings High School Hockey League Championship on Game Mike.
What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. I really want to be a sports broadcaster, but not sure how to get started. Have you done any broadcasting before? No, but I know I need experience, but just not sure how. You should really download the Game Mic app. It allows anyone to create and broadcast at any time. What games can I call? Any youth sporting event. You can even share it out with family and friends so they can listen in. That sounds great. I'll download today. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the... Well, it's a chance to take a breath and catch some fresh air. As we are through two periods of play, once again, the score, West Ranch Wildcats 2, Santa Barbara Royals 1 here from the Toyota Sports Performance Center in El Segundo, California, the official practice facility of the Los Angeles Kings. Quick tallies of the shots on goal has Santa Barbara leading 23 to 19 on West Ranch. The West Ranch goals scored by number 11, Blake Swartz, made it 1 0. And then Bobby Brock made it 2 0. Wildcats. And the Royals cut into that 2 0 lead is Eli Hines. Scoring in a four on four to make it two to one. Quick check at the NHL scores as the Kings are playing right now from Madison Square Garden in New York City. They are down one nothing right now to the Rangers. Goal by Alexi Lafreniere for New York. As the Rangers up one nothing from Capo Caco and Philip Hedel. Sots on goal. Kings lead it 7-3. That game's in the first period. We have a game in the third period from Winnipeg, Manitoba. It's the New York Islanders up 3-0 on the Winnipeg Jets. A couple of other games that went final. Minnesota Wild beat the Columbus Blue Jackets by an overtime winner. From none other than Kirill the Thrill Kaprizov. He had the three Minnesota goals as the Wild won at 3-2. The other game that went final was the Buffalo Sabres and Washington Capitals. Sabres pulled off a 7-4 win over the Capitals. A couple of games coming up in a few hours as we have the Pittsburgh Penguins hosting the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Seattle Kraken hosting the Toronto Maple Leafs. And the Arizona Coyotes hosting the Nashville Predators from Mullet Arena in Tempe, Arizona, on the campus of Arizona State. Tampa Bay Pittsburgh starts at three. The other two games start at four. So they're finishing up scraping the ice. Actually, there's a bit of ice that they forgot down at the other end. We'll see if this Zamboni loops back around. Because there's, a, there's an unscraped triangle right in front of the crease, which would be for Santa Barbara. No, the Zamboni's exiting. So there's like a sliver of ice that is uncut or unscraped down in front of the Santa Barbara net. That's something that the Royals will have to deal with in the third. Now you, yeah, that's live. Now you'd hope for the best ice conditions for a championship game, but sometimes they miss a thing or two. And it looks like the 
Zamboni drivers here for the NHL ice surface at the Toyota Center missed a sliver. We'll see if that benefits the Wildcats in the third. And we'll see what happens for the Royals as that's their defensive zone. But once again, in this intermission, Wildcats lead 2-1. to one. We'll step aside as you're listening to the LA Kings High School Hockey League Championship on Game Mike. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports. And we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp at cbsinteractive.com. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Ice condition update is they decided to bring the Zamboni back out. It looks like they finally located the small sliver of ice that I pointed out just moments ago before we went to break. There are also a couple of patches of ice or snow buildup that they're going to have to clean up before we resume back to play. The, the Zamboni is going to go all the way down to what would be the Santa Barbara defensive zone for the third period. And it looks like he might do another drive around. He might have a short delay. Uh, okay, the Zamboni goes all the way back down the ice. Not sure if he's trying to line it up or what. We'll see what happens. He's Coaching staff coming back out onto the ice for West Branch. They have the... No, Zamboni's exiting. They're deciding, oh, we're going to play with that sliver of ice. Oh, well. But the West Branch coaching staff has the trek across the ice that so many youth hockey coaches have had to do over the years no matter what ice surface they're playing on santa barbara has the luxury of just going back behind the ice and 
heading back to their bench. So both teams coming back out, getting set for the third period of action. Wildcats lead 2-1. to one. Goals by Blake Swartz and Bobby Brock for West Ranch. They led 2 nothing until a 4-on-4 goal by Eli Hines cut the West Ranch lead in half. So 16 minutes left to play as the players warming themselves back up. So once again, we'll see what that sliver of ice in the Santa Barbara defensive end has on the effective play in this third period. It's the Zamboni crew missed that sliver. Zamboni came back out and the guy decided not to get a fresh cut on that sliver. It's clear and obvious from up here in the Kings Cove. It's just above the seating area for the NHL ice service at the Toyota Sports Center. There's also an Olympic ice surface and then one on the another NHL ice surface on the other side of this surface. We're in El Segundo, California, Toyota Sports Performance Center, the official practice facility of the National Hockey League's Los Angeles Kings. Jack Finneran for Santa Barbara, getting warmed back up, doing his routine was for the start of the third period. There's Joshua Schilling for the Wildcats. Wildcats going from right to left in the third. Santa Barbara going from left to right in the third period. Looks like we hit intermission from Madison Square Garden. For any Kings fans out there, Kings are unfortunately down one nothing to the New York Rangers. A goal by Alex Alexi Lafreniere. Third period underway here as West Ranch wins the draw. Cutler fires this pass across, and it was just out of the reach of Rodriguez. Somehow, some way, West Ranch was able to hold the line and get it deep. They start the four check. Santa Barbara trying to break it out of the zone, and they do. It's No, they don't, actually. Goldman for the Royals works it back behind. The ice already getting torn up here in the third period. Niamela tried to put it by one of the Wildcats, and then there was a whiff by West Ranch. They'll try to clear the zone, and there are two bodies in the way as it's shuffled across the boards by the Wildcats. Here's a quick toe drag from West Ranch. Here's a quick backhand shot. It's in front, and the Wildcats maintain possession. Rodriguez tried to maneuver his way behind the net. Wildcats, it's Ethan Yang throwing it across the ice. Royals get possession. The long sailing pass to Frischel is intercepted by Lavalle, and he'll throw a shot off of Finneran. First shot on goal in the third period. Shots on goal 23-20. to 20 in favor of Santa Barbara. It's deep in the West Ranch zone. Playing out of the cube in Valencia. Santa Barbara playing out of the Santa Barbara rink. Here's a quick scoop towards goal that's covered by Finneran for the first whistle of the third. We've played 1 minute 50 in the final frame. Still 2-1 to one in favor of the Wildcats. Here's a tie-up on the draw. Quick shot by Irvin's deflected up and out of play. That's a souvenir for family behind Jack Finneran of the Royals. 14.04 to play in the final frame. Still a lot of hockey. 
This is the LA Kings High School Hockey League Championship game. Skein throws a Ooh. shot and it's saved by Finneran. A quick snapshot. West Ranch maintaining possession here in the third. Worked up the boards. Irving across to Skane again, and a shot save rebound! And Finneran's got that one too, and he'll cover for a whistle. Shots now level at 23 each. Quick flurry of action for the Wildcats. Both teams will get their next unit out there. Yeah, shots are even, 23 apiece. Yes, yeah. They had 19 to start. You said Santa Barbara had 23. See, I shouldn't have changed it. I had 21-18 at the end of the third, or the second. Santa Barbara. Now West Ranch in possession. March and fires it forward. And the Royals will start their breakout. A quick toe drag from Bryson Hall. Putting right back out in front, and it is cleared away by the Wildcats. Outside of the zone, they'll have to recoil. The Wildcats will slow things down. It's tipped by Marchant, and they'll get it deep. Meradian was able to keep the pressure on. This one escapes the zone, and then it goes back in. Wildcats will change. The Royals will slow things down, allowing a couple of their players to change. This one's fired the length of the ice and will be icing against the Royals. 12.25 to go in regulation. 2-1 to one in favor of the Wildcats. Quick correction of the shots, it's 25-18 in favor of the Wildcats. Royals send it down. No icing. Back behind is Lavalley for the Wildcats. He'll flip it off the boards. Held in by Bowman for the Royals, and he'll get it deep. Hines throws it out in front, and a big save by Schilling. Wildcats up the ice. The skein will dump it in. If this was Minnesota, you'd say Julian Skane's probably got the best hair of anybody out there. He's got the flow, got as the they flow. say. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice with. Flung back in by the Royals. Is it a four check from the Wildcats? Dangerously back out in front, and Skeen will put it back behind his own net. The Valley will chip this one into the bench, and the faceoff will stay in the defensive zone for West Ranch. Look out on the bench over there. Still 2 to 1 Wildcats. 11 18 to play in regulation. Face off one by Santa Barbara. There's a whiff on the shot by Headley. This one goes out to the point. Quick shot by Messick. Number 11 from the point. Missed the net. Wildcats up the ice. It's flung back in by Santa Barbara. Playing the zone again for the Wildcats. Quick whiff of the pass, but is able to get it off to his teammate, and Brock will get it deep. Rodriguez for the Wildcats, back out in front, and it's off the stick of Finneran. Out in front, Rodriguez again, and it's saved by Finneran. It looked like it might have hit the post. West Ranch trying to get that insurance goal. 
Jake Rodriguez on the pressure. And that one just squeaked out of the zone. Andrew Niner to Cutler. West Ranch back the other way. Brock gets it back in after he allowed his player time to check back up as they would have entered off sides. Here's Bowman for Santa Barbara, the defenseman with some speed. Bristol throws a shot, it's off. And quickly, there's a scrum. And this is the first ounce of rough stuff from these two teams. Looks like Santa Barbara is trying to get a greasy goal. As Schilling had to be quick on covering that puck. He lost sight of it initially, but was able to cover the rebound. Looks like no penalties either side. Faceoff will be outside of the zone, right by the American Express sponsor in the neutral zone. Basically right in front of the broadcast position here inside the King's Cove. Santa Barbara is able to win it back. Now West Ranch in control in the neutral zone, and it's flung in by Cutler. This one deflects up out of play, and we'll get another whistle. 9.46 to go. 2-1, to one, Wildcats. Faceoff will be outside of the Santa Barbara defensive zone, so it's right next to the Keck Medicine of USC sponsor on the ice. So we understand here. Face off one by Irvin for the Wildcats. It looks like he draws a penalty, and West Ranch will go back onto the power play. Looks like, or is it a West Ranch penalty? It's a West Ranch penalty. It's against number 19 for high sticking. This will be against Aiden Pierce-Chelsky, called for high sticking. 9.42 to play in regulation, so the Santa Barbara power play will go back to work. They're currently 0 for 2 after they had an abbreviated power play at the end of the second period. It was a good play by Julian Skeen for the Wildcats to get in the way of that power play chance. Heinz throws it across. There's a shot. I... Don't know if that got through, and then one goes off the side of the net. Santa Barbara trying to hold the line. They do. Pepperd in the corner. And he tried to throw a pass to Headley, and it missed him. Bowman will have to reset for Santa Barbara. 120 to go on this 5-on-4 advantage. Taking his time in his own end. Finds him at an Addison Headley. Pass eludes one of the Royals. West Ranch in control, and they will send it the lane. Taking a spell behind was Messick, but he got back up. Still no control from the Royals as it's chipped back in by Andrew Niner for West Ranch. And again, no control for the Royals, and it's just dumped back in by this time Cutler. 84 and 86, maintaining their blue line right now. Here's a quick rush by Eli Hines, but a good poke check from Ethan Yang. Here's a steal by Bobby Brock. He's coming in all alone. There's a shot. Oh, and he missed it short side. Quick shorthanded rush from the Wildcats. 20 seconds to go in the advantage for the Royals. They haven't had a single shot on this power play as the Wildcats will send it back down the ice. Bowman's got time and space to skate. He's got to get it up by his three seconds to go on the advantage nice. and another poke check this time by Maradian as a successful penalty kill yet again from the Wildcats. It's chipped in off of Bedard or Bedard and flung around the boards by the Wildcats back into Santa Barbara ice. Now in the neutral zone, they try to Get the dump in. Niamela fires it off of Cutler. It goes to the opposite corner. 
Bristol trying to make the possession for the Royals. Put back behind by Bedard. Not sure if he's related to the top NHL draft prospect, Connor Bedard, who's playing in Canada right now. Chance for West Ranch in the offensive zone as Rodriguez took a big hit. Skane with a shot and a huge glove save by Finneran for the Royals. 6.53 to go in regulation as the Wildcats maintain a 2-1 to one lead. That was some of the California Heat's own former teammates from that 16-17 squad. Coming up with that. Skane was a forward in the 16-17 season. They have him back as defenseman. There's a heavyweight collision behind the net as Daniel Finneran won it away from Blake Schwartz. But here's a quick chance by Morrison, and he couldn't settle the shot. Quickly back the other way is peppered for the Royals with a quick spin move, and he scores! A quick one-man effort from Dennis Pepperd to tie the game at two. There's a Wildcat down in the corner. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure if he's upset after that goal. Yeah, he's back up. That was a huge one-man effort from Pepperd for the Royals to tie the game at two. He worked his way through two Wildcats and then got in all alone in front of Schilling and was able to beat him short side over the pad under the blocker, and we're level at two. It's a brand-new hockey game. PA announcer for the game is Crypto.com Arena's own Trevor Raybo who also is the PA announcer for the Los Angeles Kings. Once again, the Kings are on the road. They're in New York City battling against Igor Shesterkin and the New York Rangers. Level at two. So that one goes into the Wildcats bench. We'll get another whistle. 6-0-7 to play in regulation. Two unanswered right now from Santa Barbara. They've leveled the game at two. Hines and Peppered. Oh, and a big collision! I think that was Rodriguez, and then another huge hit. As that should be a penalty. That should be a penalty against Niamela for Santa Barbara. They'll call it tripping. As he threw the knee... Actually, the penalty is against Fristel after he got decked by Jake Rodriguez. And so it'll be another West Ranch power play. It's Fristel for tripping. At 10.06. So it looks like the coach is asking for an explanation from Santa Barbara. That was a huge, filthy knee trip from Frissel. After he got leveled by Jake Rodriguez, a clean hit from Rodriguez. It'll be a Wildcats power play. We'll see if they can capitalize on this one. They're 0 for 2 right now on the advantage. They had to talk it over. Not sure what they're doing on the Santa Barbara side. They don't have their four skaters out there yet. Now they do. One of the coaches was on the ice in front of their bench telling their players... What was going on? That's Steve Hines. That was Steve Hines, former, former National Hockey League player. 
So it's a Wildcats power play. As the Royals won it, Daniel Frineran sends it around the boards, and Bobby Brock holds the line. Here's Cutler. Looks like a uh, goal was just scored by the New York Rangers on Jonathan Quick, so it's 2-0 New York. Quickly out is Eli Hines, the son of the coach, Hines. West Ranch will start back behind their own net. It goes off of Niner, and then with a bit of speed up the ice is Yang. Yang throws oh. a quick shot off the blocker, and he got or off the glove, and it rebounds, and... Finneran hand that one, too. Sent all the way down by the Royals. Shots on goal right now, 27-21 to 21 in favor of the Wildcats. Yang tried to get it by one, lost the puck to Pepper as he'll send it back in deep for Santa Barbara. 55 seconds to go in the man advantage for West Ranch. Cross the line. And into the corner. It's thrown all the way around and it will go all the way down. Pressured by Headley's. He threw a hit and then some rough stuff after it. West Ranch up the ice. It's Ethan Yang. Passed across, and here's the one-timer, and oh, and missed the net. That was Rodriguez. He tried the Mike Camilleri one-time shot. It looked like he missed it. Michael Camilleri, former Los Angeles King from back in the day, who also wore 13. West Ranch coming up empty-handed on the power play. Santa Barbara with the ounce of momentum. Niamela gets by Skane and quick short side shot. Oh! Schilling had lost sight of it as it went over the top of him. He's dangerously back out in front. Looks like another goal from the New York Rangers, and it's 3-0 over the Los Angeles Kings. They have the Bally Sports West feed up here in the Kings Cove. The terrible... Two some odd minutes from the Kings. So the Rangers are just giving it to them right now. Controlled in their own end. Are the Wildcats. Julian Skane. Outlet pass to Blake Swartz. He'll make a quick turn as that one will be offside against West Ranch. 2 2 hockey game. With 2.48 to play. The second Rangers goal was Vincent Trocek, a deflection from Mika Zibanejad. That put the Rangers up 2 0 on the Kings. That's. It looks like the Kings will exchange goaltenders. As North Pole, Alaska, as Phoenix Copley will come back into the game. Bowman throws a shot wide of the net as Schilling will cover for West Ranch, and we'll get a whistle with two and a half to play. Anything could happen here in the final two minutes and 31 seconds. Faceoff one forward by the Royals. It was peppered in the faceoff circle. He got it back and found Addison Headley, who throws a pass right out in front. Nobody there. Wildcats up ice. Field throws it in, and it goes awkwardly off of Jack Finneran. Held in by Niner. West Ranchers oh, out in front, and a shot from Yang. Save rebound, and it's loose. Nobody home. I don't know if you can hear that. West, the, the West Ranch parents, they're right outside. See a glove save from Finneran for a whistle. Shots on goal looking something like 30 to 21 in favor of the Wildcats. 
146 to play in regulation. We'll kind of figure out along the way how the overtime would work if we so happen to go to OT. Face off in the offensive zone for the Wildcats, and they win it. Cutler. Quick shot. It looked like it went off the outside of the post. Working near sign. Niamela tried to find Hines. It was behind him. Bobby Brock for Westridge. Tried to go in all alone, and he lost the handle. Westridge gets it back. Yang in front, and it's saved by Finneran. One fifteen to go. Still tied at two. Wildcats leading the shots. 31 to 21. And it looks like a timeout will be called by one of the teams. It'll be a Santa Barbara timeout. So I think I have West Branch with 34 shots and Santa Barbara with 25. I have 31 21 because a couple of those shots missed the net. And then some hit the outside of the post. Yeah, and I shots that so shots that hit the post are not shots on goal. I know. I don't have to keep track of the ones when the goalie actually being saved. And not yeah. even the ones that were just dumped in and it rolls in front of yeah. the goalie. So yeah, so I have 34 versus 25. <laughs> There's nothing like championship ice hockey. 115 to go. Getting the troops rallied. For all the Offensive zone face off for West Ranch. Face offs won by the Royals. Back behind is Daniel Finneran, finds Peppard, who's got the equalizer, works his way past Niner, but then Niner got it back. It's in the corner with under a minute to play. West Ranch clears the zone. Daniel Finneran works a deep, quick shot saved by Schilling. That one came from outside the zone. Santa Barbara, that's offsides. Those intentional offsides, it'll go on the other side of the red line. 37.9 seconds to go in regulation. Still level at two. Finneran tried to get it deep for Santa Barbara. Flipped out by Cutler for... The Wildcats, it looks like him and Niner are the top two defensemen for West Ranch. 16 seconds to go as Bowman hit the deck. And quickly, Schilling had to make a pad save. Nine seconds to go, and it looks like we're going to be headed to overtime. One last gasp from the Wildcats. Shot by Yang is turned aside to end regulation. Shots on goal, 35-27 totals. Wildcats leading. So we'll head to overtime. What better way to decide the championship than to go to overtime? Looks like Trocek had the third goal as well for the New York Rangers. They're up 3 nothing on the Los Angeles Kings.
We're level at two over here from El Segundo, just south of Los Angeles International Airport, LAX for short. And we will be skating three on three for overtime. It'll be a five minute three on three period. It's sudden death over time. Next goal wins. And a lot of open space on the ice. So it's Bobby Brock, Ethan Yang. And it looks like Cutler on the ice for Aaron Cutler for the Wildcats. Hines, Peppard, and Bowman for the Royals. Royals won the faceoff, but they lose out to the Wildcats. Cutler, quick pass to Bobby Brock. Tried to go back to Cutler. He gets it off of his stick and wins the race to the puck. Tried to go out in front to Brock, and nobody there. Here's a quick rush for Peppard for Santa Barbara, but Cutler goes 200 feet to make the defensive play. Here's Ethan Yang for the Wildcats up the ice with speed. They're going from left to right here in overtime. Out in front is a shot saved by Finneran. West Ranch in control. Here's a one timer and a glow. Oh, he went in! He's gone! Bobby Brock! Overtime winner! And West Ranch are your champions! What a play! By Bobby Brock! I thought Jack Finneran had that one. Oh my goodness. West Stretch has won it in overtime. 51 seconds in. And the West Stretch Wildcats get redemption. Bobby Brock, overtime winner. West Stretch 3, Santa Barbara 2. What a game. Wow, what a game. So it's West Ranch 3, Santa Barbara 2, final score. And the Wildcats are your 2022-23 LA Kings Varsity High School Hockey League champions. Valiant effort from the Santa Barbara Royals. Backstopped by number 40, the Rogie Vashon Goalie of the Year, and Jack Finneran. Players shaking their hands at center ice. It's the greatest sign of sportsmanship in ice hockey. What a goal, though, by Bobby Brock for the West Ranch Wildcats to win it in overtime. So once again, the Wildcats are your varsity champions. Excellent performance on both ends of the ice. For the student athletes in between those pipes, Josh Schilling for West Ranch and Jack Finneran for the Santa Barbara Royals. As coming up next will be some post-game thoughts here on Game Mike. Don't go anywhere. So we'll be right back with a few interviews. As the final score in overtime, West Ranch 3, Santa Barbara 2. We'll step aside here for a couple of minutes. There you go. As you're listening to the LA Kings 
High School Hockey League Varsity Championship on Game Mic. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mic. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mic. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports, and we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp at cbsinteractive.com. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mic. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mic. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mic allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mic. I really want to be a sports broadcaster, but not sure how to get started. Have you done any broadcasting before? No, but I know I need experience, but just not sure how. You should really download the Game Mic app. It allows anyone to create and broadcast at any time. What games can I call? Any youth sporting event. You can even share it out with family and friends so they can listen in. That sounds great. I'll download today. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mic comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mic, it's in the emotions. Hey everyone, this is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mic. Thank you for listening in. Game Mic was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. Thanks for listening to Game Mic. Action should resume as soon as the is ready to go. This is Game Mic.
everyone. Thanks for listening into Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.
What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.
What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.